Here we are back once again with another Let's Play, part three of Fire Emblem and the Sacred Stones. Um, yeah, so Sunday, I mean, I'm sorry, Monday, yesterday, I was so mad because I went to go and pick up Fire Emblem Awakening because yesterday was supposed to be the release date and they didn't have it. I don't know what happened. They talked about some kind of street. Uh, some kind of problem with the street something I forgot what they said anyway I was super mad it's just you know you go to the store expecting to get a game and when you don't get it it's it's really depressing so no Fire Emblem Awakening for me uh, there are some people who were lucky enough to get it I heard in Canada they got it early don't know what happened there, but whatever. So we're just going to continue here with this little Let's Play. Uh, it should hold me over. Uh, right now we are headed over to... Um, I don't know, that place. <laughs> but yeah, King Hayden gave us some uh, allies. Some good allies. And Erica is grateful for the King's aid. And now, clashing rumors of her brother, she sets out for Grado. She's going to the Grado Empire. Uh, the group's first stop is the remote village of Eid, which is, until very recently, a part of Renee's. Here, here Erica sees the devastation of Renee's with her own eyes. Oh my god. This is terrible. Alright, so. Chapter 2, The Protected. And she's like, Seth has mapped out a route for us. We'll travel south of Renee's and pass through Seraphue into Grado territory. And he's all like, hmm, that would be a sensible plan. Assuming, of course, that we can evade any run-ins with Grado soldiers. Princess Erica, may I have your leave to scout ahead? From the sky, I'll have a better chance of spotting any nearby troops. We're yours to command, your highness. Will you give your permission? Yes, of course. Keep an eye out for enemy bowmen, though, Vanessa. Yes, your highness, I shall. I shall prove myself worthy of the honor of your trust. She seems very sincere. Sincere, yes, quite. <laughs> yeah, Vanessa's a Pegasus Knight. Uh, Pegasus are, are dope, but they are weak to arrows, so you have to be wary of that. Hey, boss, we found some villages ripe for the picking. One, two, three. Ha, ha, ha. I love a good war. With all those soldiers preoccupied, we're free to pillage as we please. Great right, Bone, you're in charge. Grab everything that's not nailed down and bring it to the hideout. I'm on it! Dead bandits approaching! Hmm. I'm getting you out of here, Ross. You stay close to me. Uh, Ross and Garcia, I think, is their names. Uh, they're pretty cool. They're both, like, axe-wielding guys. Let's start with that village there. Go to it, boys. It's all yours. Cut down anyone fool enough to get in your way. I'm heading west around the mountain to the other villages. <laughs> and they destroy the villages, so now you have to kind of protect villages too. Ugh. Ross, what is, what's wrong? It's nothing, it's just a scratch. You're a warrior, Dad, and I'm your son. I won't be beaten so easily. Don't risk yourself so foolishly. We need to get you some help. Please, someone help my son! Oh, Lord Jesus! Ah, oh, this looks serious. I must report back to Princess Erica at once. I have bad news. The village to the east is under attack by bandits. Bandits? We have arrived at our first dilemma. We must move quickly and attract little attention as possible, but... But I cannot stand by and watch innocents be harmed. Vanessa, how fair the village is. I spotted one injured person. He may he appeared to be just a child. Father Mordor, can your staff help him? Well, yes, I can heal his injuries with my staff, but I cannot do it from here. He's too far away. I must be near him. Princess, leave this to me. I shall bring the boy here. Alright, Vanessa, it's up to you! Very well, I'm off. Alright, so, our job now is to get Ross over here. See, so here's Ross. He's got five hits left, so if that nigga comes over and he hits him, it's over! So we need to have Vanessa come over and rescue Ross. And then fly a little bit of well, let's make them more in the mountains. Alrighty, and we're gonna have Mulder come over here. Cause she can just drop him off. Uh, 
in the thing. Uh, so we're gonna have um, Erica visit this house. And this is terrible. What are we going to do? Those bandits are close. If we can't find some way to protect ourselves, the village is doomed. Perhaps. People, listen to me. You must close the village gates immediately. Hurry before the bandits arrive. Who are you? Aren't you from the neighboring towns? Or, uh, oops, something like that. And your weapons give you away. You are no peasant. I'm Mer. My name is Arena. I'm a mercenary. Mercenary na named Arena, is it? Well, there's more to you than that, I feel. But don't worry, it's under my affair. I haven't told you who I am yet, have I? I'm Selena, a general in Grelo's army. Uh -huh. Is something wrong? No, uh, nothing. It looks like those villagers have some bandit troubles. I would like to help, but I have orders. I am to leave for the capital immediately, and I cannot stay. You're armed, and you can be claimed to be a mercenary. Will you help them? Um, is there a problem? No, of course I'll help them. It's just, you're one of the Grado's Grado generals, why? These aren't soldiers, they're people. Should they suffer because their leaders fight? I've petitioned your aid. Take this up payment. Thank you very much. I don't remember what the red gem does. Um, crap, no. Yeah, she's, she's the one that has it. Ah. I can't, like, look at it, I don't think. We just see what she has. Alright, that red gem does something. We'll find out later. We're gonna move Gillian over here. And you can pretty much place uh, Gillian wherever. And, you know, he's just. He'll be safe because he just. He takes hits like a champ. So now the enemies uh, are moving in. And they're trying to hit Garcia there. But Garcia is a boss. So now it's our turn. Garcia, oh yeah, that's the other person's turn first. Garcia, Garcia tries to hit him with the hand axe, but he misses. So it's our turn now. Um, gonna have Vanessa drop um, this dude. And she can kind of like... Well, we gotta be careful of archers. Just stay there for now, got uh, honey. And then we'll have Mulder heal uh, Ross. Alrighty. So now Ross is healed. Ross is, he's not even, he's a journeyman. That's like, that's like a baby Pokemon, if you can relate it to that. It's its not even a really good class. It's really garbage. The most wonderful man rescued me, blah, blah, blee. Gave me this elixir. Here you go. So we got an elixir. So that's great. So we saved these two villages. So the enemies can't destroy it. We have to get down to this one. And I'm thinking the other one that can get there in time is Vanessa. But before that, we have to save Garcia. Um, well, let's see if Seth can talk to... No, he can't. What about uh, Gillian? Nope. And Franz, of course, can't because he's just not there. So we're going to have... We'll just see if Seth can go over go down and... We're going to have Seth... Oh, that's an armory. Oh, cool. Uh, in the armories, you can buy, like, weapons and stuff. Um, you can buy weapons. You can sell your items, too. And, you know, we're not going to buy anything now. But we only got, like, 5,000 uh, gold. And we've, you know, we've just started. None of our, none of our uh, equipment is really that messed up. I'm going to move him... I don't want to move him to... Yeah, let's... we got to save that village. So we're going to move him down here. Franz will be... Right behind him. We'll keep him in the... In the... Uh, in, the in the forest. Equip him with a sword because all these dudes have axes. So... A sword is going to be the better weapon. And we'll bring Gillian down here as a safety precaution. And that's the enemy phase, and they're just making their way over, and this guy's immediately going to go after Seth, and he's going to die. Because Seth is a boss. Seth is technically our boss. Um, actually, Erica is, but <laughs> Seth is our strongest warrior. So he's going to start coming after us. 
Uh, this dude's gonna keep trying to kill Garcia, but Garcia's like, no, nigga. Sorry, I keep saying that. But he's like, no, no, you jerk. Um, Garcia's like, help me, please. Oh, I killed him, thank God. Alright. So, ah, oh, crap, these two dudes are appeared. I don't know where they're. So now we have to rescue this dude and fly him over here. Alrighty. And Mulder is just going to tag along sneakily behind these guys just in case he needs to heal. Well, let's move him into this forest here. Oh, wait. Garcia's not damaged, right? I don't think he was damaged that much. So we'll just, yeah, we'll have him sneak behind uh, the main dudes so he can heal them if they need it. And Erica, let's see if she can talk to Ross. Yes, she can. Hey, listen, my village is being attacked by bandits. My name is Ross. Come on, you have to help me wipe those thugs out. All right, just take a deep breath and calm down, Ross. Leave the villages to us. We'll drive off the bandits. Seth, take the boy somewhere safe. No, wait, I'm going to fight too. But my father was out there all alone fighting those bandits. I've got to get him back to it as quickly as possible. I'm the son of the great Garcia. As long as I have my axe, no bandit will ever defeat me. Alright, I can see you're not going to be swayed. But you just promised that you will stay close to us. So now we have Ross on our team. And he is just not that great right now. Um, when I first played it though, he eventually became a pretty good member. I think I made him a pirate uh, at the end. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with him now. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so we're going to try and see if we can get... Uh, Try and see if we can rescue uh, that village over there. And we'll have a farm stand here. And then. There we go. See how that goes out. Oh, he's going after Franz. Nah, you can't do that. Sorry, dude. Franz is too beast. Beast mode. Alright. And they're going to go up after us. And crap, we got an archer on us. Alright, so archers are dangerous, especially for Vanessa. Uh, we don't want to have that little issue there. So what we're going to do is... going to have Vanessa... Vanessa's going to drop off... Garcia. And then we'll have a fly and wait here in the forest. Um, Garcia took no damage, so Mulder can kind of just chill in this forest here. And we need to have Erica talk to... Oh, Erica doesn't... Ah, uh, Roth has to talk to, uh, Garcia. He's like, Dad! Ross, what did I tell... Boy, what did I tell you? What are you doing here? Don't worry about me, hurry up and get yourself to safety! Did you really think I could just run away while you fight, Dad? You tell me that fighters fight for what's important to them. There's no way I'm leaving. I'm fighting just like you. Ross, all right, listen to me. We'll cut our way out of here together. So Ross and Garcia, uh, they're pretty cool. We're going to have uh, Garcia stand here in the uh, forest because forests are safe. You know, they're safer than just standing out in the... You know, open. I'm gonna cook him with their iron axe. So it does more damage. And then we'll have Erica kind of just like squeeze over here. And oh, I forgot to check what that red thing does. That's fine though. Um, I think I'll have Garcia take this guy out. Uh, I would hit him with 11, and he has 11 HP. Uh, but my hit percent is 48, so I'm not going to do much. So we'll have Franz just kind of just cut this dude down right now. Yo! Oh, sorry. And he's still alive. Uh, which isn't good. We're going to have Seth move over here and rescue this little village. Hmm, what is it? What's all the ruckus? What? The bandits? Spread the word, everyone! Close the village gates! Thank you for warning me! Please take this small token! And we got a pure water, and I think the pure waters are pretty garbage. Um, 
if I remember correctly. I didn't really use them much, if I, but you know, I might be mistaken. Uh, we're gonna have Gilliam stand here. Uh, wait, we're leaving him open. Uh, we'll just keep Gilliam here then, and Iron Lance the crap out of this guy, and hopefully he can kill him. Ah, freak. That's not good. That is not good. Alright, so it's the enemy phase now. And this guy's gonna go after Franz again. He's brave, that's for sure. I would have gone after Gillian. But, uh, whatever floats your boat, dude. Just keep giving Franz that experience points. And the boss is going after uh, Seth there. Nope, sorry. Good try, though. Erica's too dope. And this guy's gonna go after Garcia. And he's like, ha ha ha, please. I am Garcia. I got Max. And the Archer is not a big deal. The Archer is no threat. We didn't hardly take any damage. We're doing this really well in this fight. Um, I'm gonna have Ross take this guy out. Because Ross is really weak right now. And he needs all the experience points he can get. Woo! I think he, if he kills another dude, he'll get the XP he needs. I'm gonna have Vanessa try and kill him. Um, no, maybe not. Maybe I could have her just kind of attack with a javelin. And if she manages to hit him, she'll get the good XP. Ah, she missed. That was a nice try, Vanessa. And then... I will have Franz attack this dude. Yeah, he would have a ton. Franz, you can stay there, really. We'll have Erica come down here and just rape her the crap out of him. It'll be 16. He'd survive. 13. Mm, that's better. Alright, let's do that. Have Gilliam stab him. He's not going to take any damage back. Because uh, archers can't fight face to face. Uh, we'll have Garcia uh, finish this guy off. Nice. And then we will... What's the red gem do? Doesn't say anything. I don't remember what it does, sorry people. But uh, I think she might need um, more swords. Because I don't want to waste all of the rapier. So we're going to give her the iron sword because it has stronger power. And there we go. Just give her an extra sword just so she can. You know, she doesn't have to always waste, waste uh, her things. Um, this guy can already start attacking. Um, I'm not going to have Seth attack on me because I want the experience points. So I'm just going to wait and see what's going to go what's going to go down. Everybody's pretty much uh, at pretty good health. Uh, Gilliam could use some life. And Seth could use some, but it's not that uh, it's not that bad yet. So we'll just move Molda a little closer, and then we will end our turn. And the archer retreated, uh, which was a pretty smart choice. And Gilliam takes a nice little blow there, and the boss goes straight up to Franz. Wait a minute! Who are you? <laughs> yeah, he's not fighting anybody. Uh, Really, he's made a name for himself yet. Um. All right, so now we got to decide who we want to. Let's have Gillian come over here. Wait, wait a minute. He's got fifteen. We can have Gillian come over here and kill this guy. Are you kidding me? Really, Gilliam? You're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a freaking archer. Alright. 
I'm gonna have Franz attack this dude. Just get rid of him. And Franz is gonna level up. Yeah! Alright. Nice level three. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Now, let's see if Erica can hit him from way over here with a nice little javelin. She's got a 36% chance of hitting him. 36%. Uh, and he's. Is he carrying a hatchet or. Gotta look at what kind of weapons they have too, because if they can throw, um, you might not want to attack from too far. And uh, sorry, the computer's like uh, crapping out on me here. Come on, PC. Alright, so. Oh, come on. Alright, there it goes. Uh, we have. What's he have? An iron axe. So he can't throw nothing at her, so we can use her to sort of just launch the javelin at him. And she missed. Come on, Vanessa, get your glasses on, hun. Alright. Ross cannot fight him. We're gonna try and have Erica attack him. She would hit him with 14. But if Ross can land a hit. There it goes. Alright, great job, dude. So Ross landed a nice little hit there. Um, nobody else has anything projectile-y. I really want to take out that archer before we kill that guy, though. Um, he can move pretty low, so we're going to have Mulder just run like crap. And we're going to leave Erica open so he can dare to attack her. And we'll just have Seth kind of scare him uh, in that direction. And we'll see what happens here. Uh, he went straight after Ross. Oh no! Don't kill him! Crap! Yeah, way to go, Ross! Level up! So now he's level 2. Alright. Franz heals the little damage he took. And. We're gonna see if Gillian can kill this guy now. There it goes. Took him out. Great job, dude. Level five. Alrighty. So Gillian took him out. Uh, let's have him try and. Uh, oh wow, he would take him out. Uh, I don't want him to take all the experience though. He's level what? Four. She's level one. Level 1, but he's like a high cavalier level 3. Um, let's see if she can do it. Come on, hon, do it! Yeah! Urgh, blast! There it goes, and that is game, and she almost leveled up. So you saved my son, I owe you my thanks, blah blah blah. So we uh, we won that one. That was great, and we didn't have anybody fall. You know, uh, Ross almost did, but that's just because he's baby still. But uh, I forget what level he evolves at. I think it's three, but it might be five. Uh, if it's five, it's gonna be harder to evolve him. But uh, I did it last time. So that was an awesome next round. And that's the only problem with this game that sometimes the it's so strategic. A lot of the times you're going to be wasting like 20 something minutes like playing it and then if you lose like if somebody dies you're going to want to start over um because you don't want anybody dead unless it's a character you don't really care for uh but anyway good game and yeah you know ross is like i can fight i'm a, you know i can be a man you want to challenge me, father? Blah blah blah. And he's like, You're right, you're a good soldier, Ross. You can join us in our mission with Erica to Grado. So 
So yeah. Oh well, blah blah blah. So anyway. I think we can cut it off here for now. And part four I will do on another day. Thanks for watching. Ah, crap, really? More story? This game is full of story. <laughs> uh, now she's remembering three years ago uh, with Ephraim. He's going to train her how to fight. And she's like, I don't like, you know, I don't like violence or whatever. And he's like, but you're like the princess. You need to learn how to protect yourself. And she's like, yeah, but I'm your sister. And sisters need to worry about their brothers and blah, blah, blah. Uh, the story's awesome. If I'm going too fast for you, just get it yourself and, you know, read it with time. Um, if you're really, really interested in it. Uh, oh, cool, Comb. I forgot about him. Uh, it's a thief. And he robbed her. So now we have to go and uh, get her bracelet back from Comb. And Comb uh, has a little salsa, a little girlfriend. Uh, I think her name was Naomi or something like that. And they're really cool. Um, you know, thieves are awesome because they can pick locks and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of this uh, episode. Uh, thanks for watching. And I will catch you on the next, you know, part. <laughs>